everybody? Welcome back to the Little Blue Homestead, and I am Tasha <laughs> with my neighbor's dog. And I am about to do something very uncomfortable for me. I'm a purist. I don't believe in doing this, but for what what's going to happen, I have to. So to be prepared, I'm wearing my Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas sweater that was given me given to me by my mom this year as my Halloween gift even though we really didn't celebrate because we are actually preparing the house for technically a open house slash shopping area um, what I mean by this but back in the 90s when I was growing up during the holiday season you used to go to like people's homes and they have like three, four, or five vendors there. And you know, there was just ladies, Avon lady, Mary Kay, Tupperware, these women who had side jobs and they would just get away for the holiday and selling their stuff at this one person's house. Well, we're bringing it back here at the Little Blue Homestead. This Saturday, which would be the 13th of November from 11 a.m. to 4 from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. we are hosting we are hosting a holiday sale at the Little Blue Homestead inside my house and outside depending on the weather if the weather's nice we're gonna have vendors outside if the weather is not nice Everybody's going to be inside, but there will be people. For this event, we are calling it Holiday Shopping. I will put this on the screen for you guys. And again, we're hosting this event November 13th. It's going to be from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. or until everybody decides to leave because it gets too dark. Whichever one comes first. We are going to be having Avon. We are going to have Mary Kay. Yeah, I believe she's still coming. I'm not for sure. She was sick this last weekend, so hopefully she still comes. We got Pampa Chef, Papawatsi Jewelry, Prince's House Cookware. We got Tupperware and Crafty Corners. Now, Crafty Corners is the holiday lady. She sells all the holiday stuff, and of course, what these ladies are going to be bringing is um, they're going to have stuff on hand where you can buy there, and then we're going to also have stuff that you can order. And of course, Mom and I are going to be selling our jams, our jellies, our salsas, um, dehydrated tomato, uh, dehydrated tomato chips, uh, okra chips. And of course, my ghost pepper powder. So that's the event. We're calling it a holiday, not Christmas. But if you come and you look inside my house, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see it, but right there, thank you for covering it up. Thank you, bye. There's two pigs. My Christmas pigs are out because it's a holiday shopping and I'm one of those people who are they against celebrating a holiday before a holiday unless it's Halloween we can celebrate Halloween all year long but so that everybody can be in the holiday spirit everybody can be shopping and maybe find those hard gifts for those people who are hard to hard to buy for you know mom sister sister-in-law come on over um we are going to be with the jams and jellies we are going to be having a um tasting so all the jams and jellies will be available for testing yes there's chickens running around in the background so as i said um the jams jelly everything will be up for tasting um that we can i do have one more can of uh, uh one more pickle okra jar that we will not be tasting because unfortunately it's the last one 
until next season. But we do have stuff that you'd be available to taste. And just come on out. Y'all guys, um, those of you who know, know that I live in the country. So I have acreage where you can just have a picnic and just look at the scenery. Enjoy, enjoy being in a country with the cool air that we have here in Texas. And if you can't come out, support us just by liking the channel and sharing it with your friends who might be in Dallas, in the Dallas area. Or might be in Texas, yeah, Dallas, Kaufman County, Collin County, Tarrant County, you know what? Three mile drives are nothing for us Texans. We can handle it. <laughs> but we really wish to have a big turnout. Um, the stuff that my mom and I do sell is going to our is going to be part of our farm stand. We plan on putting out a farm stand in front of our house. So any money mom and I can raise will be going to that. And we are here to support these women who are gonna to come to our house. We all know that these last two years have sucked and it mainly has been bad for independent independent entrepreneurs or just women who have side jobs like hey, <laughs> the chickens are getting yelled at well we gotta put nets up then you sure they won't try to get the worms Chickens are in the garden. They're eating the cabbage, supposedly. Come here, baby. As, as I was saying, we do know these last two years have been rough for everybody. And it has definitely been rough on those women who do house parties because we can't, they couldn't do them anymore. Like Tupperware, Mary Kay, Avon. The end of the fact that there hasn't been that many craft shows. And these women, this is their side jobs, their stay-at-home moms, are women who just need that a little bit extra money to help with the finances. And it would be great if you guys come out and help support us and support them. Especially like people like Pemper Chef. Pemper Chef was something I grew up with. When I was learning to cook, I have broke a couple, a couple of Pepper Chef's items, and hopefully she has here I can replace. I grew up on Avon when I was a teen, when I was a preteen. I had a lot of Avon. I remember Baby Soft so well, and things like that. And then my teenage years, and even now these days, now I like Mary Kay and Avon but I do do Mary Kay for makeup and Avon for skincare and it's going to be interesting when these ladies come because like I said we're opening up our house our house is going to be on full display the dogs are going to be put away the chickens are hopefully will be in their house in the chicken coop and we're just going to be out and open the garden of course as many of you know there's not much going on because it is winter and we are just now getting the winter items in because it's cool enough that nothing's gonna bolt so if y'all just want to come and see how the garland excuse me how the garden has changed since the last video come on through we got some lettuce here as well. So you might be able to pick some lettuce because by that, by next week, we're gonna have a head or two. Excuse me one moment. Get out of that! That's the Brussels sprout! Missing one, missing one.
that. Chickens got in the garden, and we just got finished putting in some um, starts, some um, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and starts with a C. Starts with a C. Oh, kale. Kale doesn't start with a C. Um, C. Cauliflower. We just got finished putting in the cauliflower and all those starts this weekend. The chickens were in the garden having fun. Let's just say that's not good. But as I was saying, come on out and support us. Support support these women that we're going to be having over here. There's going to be hot dogs. There's going to be tons of jams and jellies. I'm saying tons because my whole sitting room. Is it the sitting room or entertainment room? Is that the sitting room or entertainment room? Okay, so the entertainment room, entertaining room, is covered in all the stuff that mom and I have prepared throughout the year. And we call it an entertaining room because the living room is outside. We live out here. But, so the entertaining room is covered in jams and jellies, preserves and pickles and a lot of stuff that we are going to be offering out to the public. Nothing, not much, nothing's fresh, unfortunately, because it is the end of the season for us. But it's enough to get us through the year. Jams and jellies and stuff like that. And relishes. We're going to have quite a bit of relishes. They're good. But like I said, this is happening this Saturday, November 13th at the Little Blue Homestead. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to be posting this up for y'all guys to see at the end of the video. And come if you can, if you can, just, just support us and say, like the video, subscribe to us, and help get the word out, excuse me, I might have to say chickens again. What are they doing? The chickens are big, they're getting bigger, they have not laid eggs yet. But they're getting into trouble. So I think they're past, hopefully past their teenage stage. But other than that, I will see y'all guys out here this Saturday. If not, then I will see you out in the world soon. And if I don't get to say it now, happy holidays. Everybody's invited. And I do mean everybody. <laughs> so come on out and support us and just see what's going on. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.